Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Pega Learning. In this episode, we'll create a report definition and look at how to optimize it using a database index. We'll see the report definition before and after index creation, how it is performing, what is explained plan, what is DB index and usage of it, and how to create index from Dev Studio, and sequential based searching versus index based searching. We have a report definition called get customer records that retrieves customer records with the filters department and last name. Now, when should we create an index? Do we need to create an index for a data type always? No, we do not. We don't need to create a database index for a small set of records in a data type. When we have large number of records in a data type and we are retrieving the data for a search operation from a user portal or exporting the data or for other purposes. Then we should create an index and wisely choose the columns for that index to speed up the query or searches. Now let's execute the report definition before creating an index and see how it is performing. When we execute the report definition, Pega executes an SQL query in the backend which we can see from the tracer. In the tracer setting, enable the DB query checkbox to see the SQL query in the tracer. Now let's copy the SQL query. We had 10,000 records in the data type and out of 10,000 records, it fetched only six records with these two filters. Let's go back to Dev Studio to check how costly this search operation was from Dev Studio, open the query inspector and paste the SQL query and we will generate the explain plan on this. Now let's understand what is an explain plan. Explain plan displays the execution statements which is used to analyze and optimize the SQL query. We can generate the explain plan from the query inspector in Pega. This is no Pega feature. This is an SQL feature and you can execute the same by going to any SQL query builder. Just add explain before the query to generate this. As we are using Pega Cloud now, we don't have any option to access the database. Pega has given us an option in Dev Studio to generate the same. As we can see, it has generated some statements. Let's understand what it means. Row 3 shows it has performed a sequential scan, which means it performed a full table scan. It checked each and every record in the table to match the filter criteria. The numbers that are quoted in parentheses are width, average width of rows output in bytes, rows, estimated number of rows output, and cost the overall cost to execute this query. In the cost parameter, the number up to two dots is the estimated total cost. This is measured in the arbitrary unit. In our case, 3511 is the total estimated cost. Now, we will create an index and see the difference. Before creating the index, let's quickly understand what an index is. An index is a pointer to data in a table. It's very similar to an index of a book. If we want to read a particular topic, we check the index of the book to find out the page number. Then we directly go to that page number to read that topic. It gets very easy to find the topic. If we don't have an index, we have to check each and every page to find that topic. Similarly, if we have an index with the filtered columns, it directly points to those table records that match our filter criteria rather than searching the whole table row by row. Now, we will go back to Dev Studio to create the index. From the schema tools tab, search your database table and click on add index. You can see there is already one index that was created during the table creation using the primary key. Now, click on add index, given index name and choose the columns. 
you can create index on one or multiple columns as per your requirements we will create the index on department and last name it might take some time refresh the page and index will appear as we can see the index has now been created you can run the report definition again to see the difference and if there are a small number of records you won't see much difference now let's generate the explain plan again to see the difference great now you can see the difference the cost is hugely reduced so after creating the index the search query has improved a lot now it has found an index and it is not using a sequential scan to find the records instead it is now using an index based scan if i show you the previous plan before creating the index you can see the difference in cost previously it was 3511 now it is reduced to 21 technically you can create many indexes but if you create too many indexes it needs to maintain the index data structure for all the indexes which requires additional disk space and there might also be performance issues in data modification while using insert update or delete statements that's why we should reuse the index as much as possible if we have other report definitions that use the same columns in filters we should build the filters accordingly so that it can reuse the index let's see the example by adding another filter we'll add first name as another filter and we'll check if the index is still being used okay we have added now let's go to query inspector again and generate the plan yes as you can see it is being used the cost is still low because it has used the index for searching department and last name and first name as a filter the index we created is a non clustered index there are primary clustered indexes as well if you want to know you can get more information in google but with this we can now start creating index in dev studio and optimize our report definitions for complex scenarios you can take help from dba in your project so that's the end of the video stay tuned for more similar contents